Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a review and lip swatches on the brand new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oils. I cannot wait to get into these. As soon as these launched, I rushed over to Sephora to pick some up. I swatched all the colors for you guys. I also posted an Instagram reel and TikTok on these immediately. Of course, I had to come on here for my YouTube fan today to sit down and film a more in-depth review and lip swatch video on these. So let's just go ahead and get into these because I'm very excited to show you guys how these perform on the lips. So I don't have anything on my lips because I'm ready to put on the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oils on. So let's talk a little bit about what these exactly are. So this is an innovative gel formula that transforms into a lightweight nourishing oil, leaving lips hydrated with a soft pinch of color and shine. Um, they did have some gorgeous colors. I'm not exactly sure how many. Let me go ahead and go on the Sephora app to see which colors they have. And it was so hard to decide which ones to get because the colors are so beautiful. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight shades I picked up four. So I picked up half of them, I guess. Um, they do retail for $20, so they're not the cheapest. They are cheaper than the new makeup by Mario um, lip plumping lip colors, which are $24, I think. Slightly a little less, um, but I am very excited. These are vegan, hydrating, parabens, natural finish, long wearing, cruelty free. Um, this is a never sticky formula. It's a lip balm and a treatment. It's very long wearing. And this also does contain jojoba seed oil, which moisturizes and creates a protective barrier over the lips to lock in hydration. It also has sunflower seed, an antioxidant rich, which soothes and protects from environmental stressors. Today, I'm gonna go from the lighter shades to the darker shades because these are tinted lip oils. That means they will stain the lips. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Honesty. Let's see what this is. Honesty is a nude brown. So we're gonna get into Honesty. And I love the packaging. I love how they follow the packaging of their iconic blushes. This is what the blush looks like versus the lip oil. You guys can see I'm actually wearing the happy blush right now on my cheeks. Um, so let's go ahead and first start off with honesty. So you light like that. This is a really pretty nude. Look at this. I appreciate how hydrating they are. You can definitely feel that formula transform from a gel to that lip oil formula, but it doesn't feel greasy or too like oily. It just feels just right. It's a really nice bomb consistency, which I really love. And you guys can see that very, very hydrating. Um, and of course you can leave it like this for a little bit more of that shine finish. Or if you just want it to be a tint, you can dab some of this off and then just let that tint be its own. Um, so it just really depends on your preference and what you want out of this. So for me personally, I really like how this looks just like this. I would probably leave it like this and let the tint come in as the day progresses, as I wear it. You guys can see when you dab it off, it leaves that tint. So that's how much product comes off from the lip oil. You still get that nice tint on the lips, which I really like because it shows that it's long wearing. Even though it does transfer, like the lip oil part transfers, the tint stays there and it looks phenomenal. And then you can either retouch it through the day um, for a little bit more of a shine, or you can just go over it with a gloss if you're liking for a more glossy finish. These are not glossy, so if you're expecting a glossy finish, you're not gonna get that. You're gonna get a subtle shine from these, but it more so focus on the fact that through the day as you wear these, you will get that nice, tint that stays on your lips. So this is the first shade, Honesty, a nude brown. I do want to say right now, as I have this on, it does kind of give off a like cooling feel to lips. It's not super intense. It's like a subtle, like cooling effect. That's something that I did notice yesterday when I tried them on for the very first time. And I like it because I like anything like cooling and minty. This doesn't smell minty, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything, but it does give you like that cooling sensation. Okay, next shade we're going to go in with is... I want to go in with happy because it is also a pink so it's going to be more on that softer side so happy is labeled as a cool pink so let's go in with happy oh yeah that's pretty i love this pink and i just put it over the foundation on the lips just so that you guys could really see the true color just because they do leave a tint the other colors that i apply will be leaving tint. So I'm just trying to have you guys see like what this 
looks like. It's true value. Cause it is a little harder to swatch lip tints just because they do stain the lips. This formula is so nice. It's honestly like the perfect, like everyday lip tint your lip color but better just a very natural product oh something else i want to mention is this doe foot applicator do you guys see how it's angled so i really like that because i feel like it really hugs the lips very nicely so it really allows her to coat the entire lip with as much pigmentation as possible to really give you that color that you really really want um which i love this one is happy a cool pink and I love this. It goes with the happy blush that I'm wearing right now. I feel like this combo looks fantastic. Honestly, I can say trying a lot of lip oils in the past few years, ever since everybody went crazy over the Dior lip oils, I have to say this lip oil for yours is different than any of the other ones. I feel like the other ones I've tried feel glossy. This one truly does feel like a tinted lip oil. Like it feels like a lip oil, but it's not too like wet, if that makes sense. It's hydrating my lips. I do have chap lips. I do feel like this lays really nicely on my chap lips. And I also do want to say, I think that these do oxidize a pinch. And the reason I say that is because this is my second time wearing them. And I feel like the pink goes from like almost like that cool pink to like a more like pop of pink if you guys can see even in the promo that i saw yesterday on the rare beauty um sephora display selena gomez was wearing happy and i was like that's happy it looks a little like more of a pop of pink it looked a little bit more of like a brighter pink but happy looks a little bit more like cool tone but i definitely do think that these kind of like oxidize a little bit in a good way i honestly think it's in a good way because I, I like the finish that it does give on my lips Okay, let's move on to the next shade. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the shade Wonder, which is a rose mauve. Oh wait, I forgot to do one thing. Just so you guys can really see the color. This one is so pretty too. I feel like the colors are just so like wearable. They're like the perfect everyday product. And I heard that Selena and Rare Beauty worked on this formula for two years, so they have been doing their research because this is a really nice formula and i appreciate that tinted product meets lip oil like i just feel like that's like the perfect combination of two things that everybody has been loving a lip oil of course and then also like a lip stain so this one is wonder right yes wonder very pretty color another nice pop of just let's go ahead and see how it lays on the lips oh yeah this is like the perfect rosy rosy tint i honestly feel like in the end to be completely honest these colors that I picked are kind of similar. I like these type of colors and that's why I purchased them because those are the ones that I'm going to get the most out of use out of. I've mentioned that before my Makeup by Mario um, lip video is that the ones that I do purchase are always colors that I would probably get the most use out of. Um, and that's why I like to swatch them all in store so you guys can see the other colors as well. But I am noticing that I feel like all these colors are similar, especially um, Happy and wonder like once the lip oil comes off and it's just a lip tint the lip tint looks very similar in these two i'm telling you guys even when you remove it with a makeup wipe that stain isn't going anywhere obviously the lip oil comes off but then it leaves like the prettiest stain and look at that like the stain is there okay so last but not least serenity this one, like I mentioned, was my favorite one out of all of them because I feel like this is probably the one that I would wear the most. I feel like this one's going to be hard to notice now because I just layered two other colors. But I'm going to do this so that you guys can see the color as best as possible. Okay, so we're going to go in with Serenity, which is labeled as a warm rose. Like, I just feel like this is literally my lip color, but better. So I really like this color. I think it is very pretty, very wearable. It's definitely my favorite for every day. The one that I feel like I would reach for the most and just carry my purse when I want like a subtle pop of something, but I still want it to kind of really go with like everything I have going on, my skin tone, my makeup look, or like my very like minimal makeup look. Like, I just feel like this one's great. 
So I really love this color in Serenity and I think this is gonna be my favorite one. I do wanna quickly swatch these colors for you guys because yes, I swatched all the shades yesterday, but I wanna swatch the shades that I purchased so that you guys can also see how they look like on the back of the hand. But you guys can see the colors right there. Very beautiful colors. So this is the lip tints, right? And then you remove them and look, you still have that stain there. And now I wanna talk about my thoughts on the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oils. So, these retail for $20. They're an innovative gel to nourishing oil formula. And I have to say, I really love that. I think that is very innovative in terms of, we've seen lip oils done over and over. We see them be very glossy, just very like yummy, but it's not often that you see them actually feel like a lip oil, but still feel comfortable. You're not like, oh, this feels weird on lips. And I feel like not everybody loves a gloss formula. So I think this is great. If you're looking for really good comfort, if you're looking for a really good everyday product. So here are my thoughts. I think that if you're looking for a good natural everyday product, this is definitely the one for you. I think that they're for $20 is not bad. You're getting really good luxury product. You guys know Rare Beauty does a beautiful job of keeping their products luxurious, but still keeping them at a reasonable price for luxury. Cause you guys know Sephora products can get expensive. So the fact that these are still within target of a good luxury, reasonable price is pretty good. So something I know you guys are going to ask me is how these new Rare Beauty soft pinch tinted lip oils compare to the new makeup by Mario plumping lip colors. Okay. They're different. They're very different products. So these plumping lip colors are a plumping formula. They're like a gloss formula. Yes, they're like that lip oil formula, but this is more gloss. If you want gloss, you're going to love these. These also aren't long wearing. So once they come off, you have to retouch it and it's going to be quite often you have to retouch it. But I think if you love a really good glossy, very lightweight formula, you're gonna love this. If you're looking for gloss, Makeup by Mario ones. If you're looking for natural, a lip oil consistency, like a true lip oil, not glossy at all, you want that lip stain that's gonna last a long time, I think this is gonna be the go-to for you. Makeup by Mario's are $24, these are $20. These leave a lip stain, these do not. These do give a little bit of plumping though, which is great, but if you're looking for gloss and plumping, don't mind having to retouch, then probably the Makeup by Mario one. Here's the thing, I like them for very different reasons. These, the especially the nude one, has been my go-to for like when I wanna like step out, when I want to like, wear a really nice lip liner, a full glam and a glossy lip. And I don't mind retouching. That's when I go for makeup by Mario lip colors. Um, but when I want something for every day, I'm gearing more towards this. And I feel like more people are looking for that everyday staple product. So I think more people are going to like these than the lip colors by makeup by Mario. These are a really great formula. If you are looking for a glossy, gorgeous lip, especially the lighter colors, I've heard not the best reviews on the deeper colors. I've heard that they bleed and stuff um, around the lips. So I would probably recommend getting the lighter shades these i had no issues with the shades that i got and i purchased these as well it just really depends on what you're looking for if you're looking for a glossy formula something you don't mind retouching makeup by mari if you're looking for something that's long lasting in terms of leaves a lip stain but still feels very comfortable and nourishing and hydrating on your lips you're probably going to love the rare beauty one so those are my thoughts because i knew you guys would ask me like what do you recommend what's going to work better for me it just really depends on what you're looking for. Um, I would say if you can, and you're still on the fence about both of them, and you really wanna do more research, wait until the Sephora sale, because the Sephora sale is coming up. It starts April 14th, and it ends on April 24th. So you guys have time to figure out which one's best for you, and hopefully these don't sell out like crazy, because I feel like these products are probably gonna sell out sooner than later. So just keep an eye out for it. So yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give this a big thumbs up. Let's me know to continue doing my lip product reviews, lip swatches. I love doing these because I'm a huge lip product lover. Pretty much it. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Adios, bonitas.